TV4 News at 5 starts now. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. The victim of a brutal stabbing is lashing out after learning his assailant is being allowed to leave the state mental hospital to take classes at Windward Community College. KITV4's Catherine Cruz is here with our top story. Catherine. Well, you know, classes officially begin in less than two weeks. University officials met this morning to discuss their options as they weigh student privacy over safety. Stabbing victim Nicholas Edmomoto said he's disgusted with the court's decision and he fears for the safety of the community college students. Benjamin Davis was found to be insane when he stabbed two men on the Cocoa Head Trail and threw one of them off the ridge three years ago. Davis was committed to the state hospital for treatment. One of his victims, Nicholas Iwamoto, is outraged that he wasn't allowed any input into whether Davis should be allowed to walk free on campus. It would have been nice to tell the victims, but apparently we have no right to testify. Iwamoto was stabbed 18 times, suffered a broken neck and two punctured lungs. He is still unable to work. He called the judicial system a joke. Why not? Since he was crazy when he tried to murder me in the most violent way imaginable. Since he's, quote, mentally healthy, why not put him behind bars for the rest of his life? He can do his time. Then Iwamoto suggests Davis can take online classes. Community college students on hand for freshman orientation were surprised to learn of the growing controversy. I'm actually pretty alarmed by this. That can actually be risky for all of us. He suggested Davis be provided a tutor. If he doesn't bother anyone or just doesn't bother me, it's fine. And if he doesn't go nuts, if anything happens to us, then college is liable. And then whoever said he was okay was going to be liable. So as long as he doesn't bother us. The prosecutor's office says Davis will be allowed to attend class here two days a week, four hours at a time. Davis will also be subject to searches and drug testing at any time. University officials met today but said until they see the official court order, they weren't ready to talk about their options. We will obey a court order, uh, but we'll take whatever special steps are needed to assure the safety of everybody involved. Dykstra said Davis was attending a non-credit class on campus since last fall, but under supervision of a guard. And we asked state hospital officials if it might be in Davis's interest and his safety to continue providing that guard while on campus. Privacy laws prevent the hospital from talking about specific cases, but administrators said they're sensitive to community concerns. So it's likely Davis's campus visits may still be supervised. Paula? All right. Thank you, Catherine.